Interestingly enough, here's a drill that went away for a long time when we were all trying to emphasize a deep catch. Now that we're back to a more of a shallow pull, this has become a really good drill to show the, uh, the, the proper technique and, in, in, uh, well, actually a higher entry, a higher, harder set on the entry. And that's good stuff for him. One of, one of the, the, new, the new things that we've gone from, from a, uh, a lot of movement and backstroke, deep catch, skull up, skull down, and exit like I swam when I was a, when I was a swimmer, uh, to much more of a, of, of a hard, high set and then a then a then a drive through your drive through your stroke and really uh, it's it all fits into hold your body line grip the water and move the water. Uh, now my disclaimer here is that for most of the young kids in America, how I teach the uh, you know 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 year olds in our Mac, swim Mac program is is we want to continue to teach a good really good rotation and we want a little bit more depth because the deal is when you're when you're younger swimmer and you and you're in the foundational stages. Uh, you'd rather be holding more water, doing things that overemphasize movements that later in your career you can slow down and you can kind of, kind of, kind of make a little simpler motion. So if you're an age grouper, you may be going here and here when you're swimming. Not a bad thing. Your hand's going to be a little deeper. Okay. As you move toward higher levels, uh, all the fine things matter. And a guy like Nick is now strong enough to be able to hold the water in those kind of positions. Okay. So it's a big difference. And so as as young swimmers hear about this flatter strokes, the more drag, less lift in their strokes, uh, that you don't want to get uh, mistakenly drawn into that as a young swimmer to think that's the way an 11 year old should be swimming. It's not necessarily. Uh, what you need to do is work with your coach and, and make those decisions uh, that the coach has done a lot more research than most swimmers and, and, uh, and allow for that process to happen a little bit more naturally. And then when the strength is there as a mature swimmer, then you can begin to make some of those those, those movements where you're, you're involving a lot more drag because it requires a lot of strength.